So let's start. Number 10, the Great Galactic Collision Course. Our Milky Way is heading straight for its cosmic twin, Andromeda, and yes, it's exactly as bad as it sounds. Both galaxies are enormous spirals filled with hundreds of billions of stars and they're hurtling toward each other at around 250,000 miles per hour. It's basically the slowest, most majestic car crash in existence. You won't hear it, you won't see it happening quickly, but it's already started. When the two finally meet in about 4 billion years, they won't exactly explode. Instead, gravity will start tearing and stretching everything apart. Stars will be flung into strange new orbits, some will crash into others, and massive new black holes will form at the center. As both galaxies merge into one, scientists even have a name ready for it called Milkomita. Here's where it gets uncomfortable. There's a real chance our solar system could be tossed out of the Milky Way entirely, like cosmic debris shot into intergalactic darkness. The night sky would change dramatically, a chaotic swirl of stars, nebulae, and cosmic dust lighting up the heavens in ways humans will never witness. The scary part? This isn't some future event waiting to begin. The gravitational dance is happening right now. Both galaxies are already bending space toward one another, and astronomers can actually see the distortion in their shapes. It's just happening too slowly for us to perceive. Every second that passes, the gap between them shrinks in a silent countdown toward one of the largest collisions in the history of the universe. So, yeah, the universe is already preparing for one massive, inevitable crash, and we're along for the ride. Number 9. The expanding universe that broke its own math. The universe isn't just growing, it's growing wrong. Astronomers have been trying to measure how fast space is expanding since Edwin Hubble first realized galaxies were racing away from us. You'd think by now, we'd have the math nailed down. But no, two of our most precise methods give completely different answers when we study the early universe specifically, the faint radiation left over from the Big Bang known as the cosmic microwave background. We get one value for the expansion rate. But when we measure how fast nearby galaxies are moving away right now, we get a faster number. The difference isn't tiny. It's enough to suggest something fundamental about reality doesn't add up. This cosmic disagreement is called the Hubble tension, and it's driving scientists nuts. It might mean dark energy, that mysterious force pushing the universe apart, isn't constant like we thought. Or maybe there's a new kind of particle, something completely unseen, changing how gravity behaves on massive scales. Think of it this way, it's as if you set your GPS, drove exactly the speed limit, and somehow still ended up arriving hours early. The numbers simply refuse to match. The expansion rate of the universe seems to be accelerating, as though something invisible keeps pressing the gas pedal harder. If this continues, galaxies will one day move away so quickly that their light can no longer reach us. Future observers, billions of years from now, will look into the sky and see nothing, just an empty void. So while we're here admiring stars and galaxies, the universe is quietly racing toward total isolation, and it's doing it faster every day. Number 8. Rogue Black Holes Wandering Through Space when you picture black holes, you probably imagine them sitting at the center of galaxies surrounded by swirling rings of gas and light, but not all black holes stay put. Some get kicked out, literally blasted away at millions of miles per hour after colliding with another black hole. This happens when two supermassive black holes merge. The event sends out a burst of gravitational energy so strong, it can physically shove the resulting black hole out of its galaxy. These exiled monsters, known as rogue black holes, drift silently through the cosmos invisible and hungry. Astronomers have already found a few suspicious candidate objects moving too fast, bending light oddly, leaving no trace of a home galaxy behind. Some might even be roaming through intergalactic space right now, far away from any stars or planets. And since they emit no light, the only way we'd know one was near us is when it starts distorting everything around it. What's truly unsettling is the scale. The Milky Way alone could have hundreds of millions of these wandering black holes. Most are small, only a few times the mass of our sun, but some could be super massive, millions of times larger. They could pass through entire star systems without anyone noticing until it's too late. It's cosmic horror at its finest. Quiet, invisible, unstoppable, 
we like to think space is mostly empty, but it's probably littered with roaming gravitational traps just drifting through the dark. So next time you look up at the peaceful night sky, remember, there could be a monster out there, moving silently toward nowhere, rewriting space as it goes. Number 7. Betelgeuse. The supernova waiting to happen. Betelgeuse, that bright orange star sitting on Orion's shoulder, is dying, and it's not going quietly. This red supergiant is one of the largest and brightest stars in our galaxy, but it's running out of fuel. When that happens, a star of its size doesn't fade out. It detonates. At some point soon, tomorrow, or maybe 100,000 years from now, Betelgeuse will go supernova. It will collapse under its own gravity, then explode outward in a flash so bright it will be visible during the day. For a few weeks, it could even outshine the full moon. In 2019, astronomers noticed Betelgeuse dimming dramatically, sparking rumors that the explosion was about to happen. Turns out it just burped out a massive dust cloud, but that was a reminder that it's nearing its end. When it finally blows, it'll send shockwaves across the galaxy and release more energy in seconds than our sun will produce in its entire lifetime. Luckily, Betelgeuse is far enough away, about 640 light years, that it won't harm us, but it will be a front row seat to one of the universe's most powerful natural disasters. What's eerie is that it might have already happened. If Betelgeuse exploded 600 years ago, the light from that event could still be on its way to us right now. Any night, we might look up and suddenly see a new star appear in the sky, the afterglow of a catastrophe that's been traveling through space for centuries. Number six, the death of stars in slow motion. Right now, somewhere in the universe, a star is dying, and it's taking millions of years to do it. It's a strange kind of disaster, one that happens so slowly you'd never notice if you were watching in real time. But make no mistake, it's destruction on a scale we can barely imagine. Stars live by burning hydrogen in their cores, fusing atoms together to release light and heat, but every star has a limit, a point when the fuel runs out and gravity takes over. For smaller stars like our sun, it ends quietly. The outer layers drift off into space, forming glowing clouds called planetary nebula, while the core shrinks into a white dwarf, a dense ember that will fade for trillions of years. For larger stars, though, it's a completely different story. When they run out of fuel, they don't go quietly. Their cores collapse, and the entire star detonates in a supernova, one of the most violent events in the universe. In a single instant, it releases more energy than our sun will produce over its entire lifetime. This process is happening everywhere right now. Hundreds of stars are dying across our galaxy as we speak, but space is so vast that we only notice a handful. The rest go unseen, fading or exploding in the silence of the void. And every one of those deaths leaves behind the raw materials for something new, carbon, oxygen, iron, everything that makes planets, oceans, and people possible. It's weird to think about it, but you are literally made from the ashes of exploding stars. Every atom in your body has lived and died at least once before. The universe is recycling itself constantly through death. So when you look up at the stars, remember they're not twinkling, they're burning themselves away second by second in a slow motion catastrophe that never stops. Number five, the sleeping monster at the center of the galaxy. At the center of the Milky Way, about 26,000 light years away, there's a supermassive black hole called Sagittarius A. It's roughly four million times the mass of our sun, a gravitational titan that holds our galaxy together. For a long time, we thought it was quiet, just sitting there, not doing much. But recently, astronomers started noticing something strange. It's waking up. Using infrared and x-ray telescopes, scientists have seen bursts of light and energy coming from the area around it, huge flares that weren't there before. These flashes happen when gas or dust drifts too close and gets sucked in. As it falls toward the event horizon, the friction heats it to millions of degrees, releasing radiation before it vanishes forever. What's creepy is that Sagittarius A has been doing this more often. It's feeding again. Maybe a gas cloud wandered too close. Maybe an entire asteroid got shredded. Whatever it is, the black hole is starting to glow brighter, a cosmic warning that even monsters can stir after long naps. For now, we're safe. 
it's too far to hurt us, but black holes are unpredictable. They can change behavior fast, and the more material they swallow, the more unstable they become. Some astronomers think this might be the early stage of a feeding frenzy, the kind that can transform a quiet galaxy into a quasar, blasting energy brighter than all its stars combined. So yes, right now, our galaxy's heart is stirring. It's not roaring yet, just flexing, but when something that massive starts moving again after millions of years of silence, you can't help but wonder what's next. Number four, the cosmic radiation storms that never stop. Space isn't quiet. It's full of invisible bullets. Every second, high energy particles, cosmic rays, shoot through the universe at nearly the speed of light. They come from exploding stars, dying galaxies, and black holes tearing matter apart. Most never reach us because Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere act like a giant shield. But out beyond that protection, it's a constant storm. For astronauts, cosmic radiation is one of the biggest dangers of space travel. These particles can pass straight through metal, electronics, and even human DNA, causing damage that builds up over time. NASA tracks radiation levels obsessively because a single solar flare could ruin a mission, or worse, kill a crew. But the real nightmare isn't solar radiation, it's what comes from deep space. Sometimes massive stars collapse and send out gamma ray bursts, narrow beams of pure energy that can travel billions of light years. If one hit Earth directly, it could wipe out the ozone layer in seconds and sterilize half the planet. Thankfully, they're rare, and so far we've been lucky. Still, it's happening constantly all across the cosmos, radiation storms so intense they could vaporize worlds, and even when we can't see them, we can feel their effects. Some cosmic rays reach our atmosphere every moment, breaking atoms apart and creating secondary showers of particles that rain down on us. It's harmless here on the ground, but it's proof that the universe is still firing. We live under a sky that looks calm, but it's more like standing beneath a silent artillery barrage, endless, invisible, and completely unstoppable. Number three, the dying galaxies of the universe. Galaxies are the cities of the universe, filled with billions of stars, planets, and clouds of gas, but like cities, they age, they run out of resources, and right now, across the cosmos, galaxies are dying in silence. A galaxy lives by forming new stars from its supply of hydrogen gas. But when that gas runs out, or gets blown away by radiation and black hole jets, the lights start going out, star formation slows, then stops completely. The youngest stars burn out first and the galaxy slowly fades into darkness, leaving behind only dim red dwarfs and dead remnants. Astronomers call these places red and dead galaxies. They don't explode or vanish, they just stop living, and half of the galaxies in our corner of the universe are already there. Some, like massive elliptical galaxies, haven't formed a single new star in billions of years. The weirdest part? No one knows exactly why. Some think it's feedback from supermassive black holes blowing out the gas. Others think galaxy collisions scatter material too far to recycle. Whatever the cause, it's happening everywhere. The universe is going dim, one galaxy at a time, when we look at the night sky, we're seeing the universe in its youth, bright, full of light, but give it enough time and every galaxy will fade. The future of the cosmos isn't fiery destruction, it's a quiet extinction. Number two, the slow freeze of the universe. If you want a truly depressing thought, the universe is dying of cold. Not fast, not dramatically, but slowly, quietly, over trillions of years. This is what scientists call heat death, a future where every star has burned out, every planet is frozen, and nothing in the cosmos can change anymore. Right now, stars are still forming, galaxies are still alive, and black holes are still feeding, but entropy, the tendency of everything to move toward disorder, is winning. As the universe expands, energy gets more spread out. Temperatures drop, the cosmic background radiation that once glowed bright after the Big Bang is now barely above absolute zero. Eventually, the last stars will die. White dwarfs will cool into black dwarfs, black holes will evaporate through Hawking radiation, and when the final particles of light fade away, the universe will be completely dark and silent. This isn't a sudden catastrophe, it's the slowest death imaginable, but it's already happening. 
every burned out star, every fading galaxy is part of the long, inevitable decline. One day, even atoms will decay, and time itself may lose meaning. We exist in the universe's golden age, a brief window when stars still shine and energy still flows. The cosmos isn't eternal, it's just taking a very, very long time to die. Number one, dark energy, the silent killer of everything. 70% of the universe is made up of something we don't understand, dark energy. It doesn't emit light, it doesn't interact with matter, but it's there, and it's making the universe expand faster every second. At first, scientists thought gravity would eventually slow the expansion. Instead, dark energy is speeding it up. Galaxies are being pushed farther apart, and the space between them is stretching faster than light can cross it. One day, distant galaxies will slip beyond visibility entirely, their light too stretched to ever reach us again. That's the calm version the terrifying version. If dark energy changes even slightly, it could trigger something called the Big Rip, a cosmic chain reaction where space expands faster and faster until it tears everything apart. First galaxies, then solar systems, then planets, and finally atoms themselves. Even the building blocks of matter wouldn't survive. It wouldn't be loud, it wouldn't be explosive, it would just be gone. A quiet, unmaking of reality. Right now, we have no idea what dark energy is. It could be a field, a property of space itself, or something entirely new, but we know it's real and it's growing stronger. The universe isn't just expanding, it's accelerating into oblivion. And that's the most chilling thing about it. The end of everything is already underway, and it's happening in perfect silence. Thank you for watching and sticking till the end. We've got plenty more videos coming in the future. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them. See you in the next one.